Welcome to Headlines Nigeria on NITV from our Abuja studios in Nigeria. I am Grace Ukos bringing to you summaries from our national dailies. Let's start with the headlines of the inaugural meeting of the newly reconstituted Federal Executive Council of Nigeria. From the punch, Jonathan warns ministers against violation of conduct code. Daily Independent, Jonathan tasks ESCOF on code of conduct. This day, ministers warned against violating due process and Guardian, FEC at Maiden Sitting, focuses on conduct code others. And they are all talking about the newly established Federal Executive Council which had its maiden meeting in Abuja on Wednesday the 7th of April 2010 with ministers warned to comply strictly with the Public Service Code of Conduct and Due Process. On the Christian Cleric's visit to alien President Umaru Musa Yaradwa, Vanguard newspaper says Onayeko Oyedepo, two others in secret talks with Jonathan. Daily Independent says Yaradwa, Onayeko Oyedepo, others brief Jonathan. While Punch has it as Oyedepo, Onayeko, brief Jonathan on visit to Yaradwa. Here are the clerics who are the national president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Archbishop John Onayeko, the general overseer of the Living Faith Church, Bishop David Oyedepo, Pastor Emmanuel Kure of the Throne Room Trust, and Professor Yusuf Obaji met the acting president in company of the executive secretary of the Nigerian Christmas Commission, Mr. John Kennedy Okpara. Though they didn't speak to the press, it is said that they gave Acting President Goodluck Jonathan feedback of their visit with the President Umar Musa Yaradwa. Ekiti AC warns NAFDAQ against cover up on alleged expired milk is on Punch newspaper. And the same story is on Daily Independent. Expired milk. Ekiti AC welcomes NAFDAQ probe. Here, Action Congress in Ekiti State has warned the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, to investigate the issue of the expired milk products fed to school pupils by the Ekiti State government without bias. The opposition party has, however, described the investigation as a welcome development. Jonathan to meet Obama on Sunday is another headline on the front page of this day newspaper. It is said that the acting president, good luck Jonathan, will embark on his first major outing as acting president, hosted by the U.S. President Barack Obama, to discuss bilateral relations. This will take place at the White House on Sunday, the 11th of April. President Obama had sent an invitation to Jonathan last month to attend the Nuclear Security Summit, which is taking place between April 11th and April 14th. And it is not confirmed if the acting president will stay throughout the duration of the summit, especially when he doesn't have a vice president to take charge of affairs in his absence. And that's all we have on Headlines Nigeria. Log on tomorrow for more juicy headlines from Nigerian dailies. I am Grace Ukos. Thanks for logging on.